This is the new KQI Air. That is light, wow. And I'm gonna use it to run a few errands around town because I wanna show you guys why I think this is one of the better commuter scooters out there for $1,000. And I'm also gonna show you a few things that are exclusive to new that really make their scooter stand out. And the first is the lightweight frame. This is New's lightest scooter. It only weighs 26 pounds. It's the first commuter scooter for $1,000 that I've seen with a carbon fiber frame. And the nice thing about that is if you live in a place that has stairs, it's not that bad to fold it in and just take it with you. My second favorite thing about this is that it comes with an NFC card. And so when you pull up to a gas station, get a little something sweet. You don't have to worry about somebody jacking it. I'm sure some of you are thinking, what if they just picked it up and put it in their truck? Would the alarm still sound off? Lock it. Okay, that is a no. So the wheels have to be moving for the alarm to sound, which, there that goes. Lights are lighting up. So uh, I think that's gonna draw some attention. One of my favorite things about this is the visibility that you have. One thing that's classic to new is the daytime running headlights. It does offer a little bit of visibility for oncoming traffic. The second thing are the turn signals. And I like the positioning. There's a light facing the rear and in the front. It beeps at you so you know that your lights are on. Look how bright that is. That's about 20 feet away and I can still see it. And then you got a pretty bright tail light. If you squeeze the brake lever, that does flare up. So it warns traffic behind you that you're slowing down. As far as other visibility features, you have reflectors on both sides of the back wheel and then also underneath the headlight. And that's pretty much it for visibility. The next one is get up and go. When you hit the throttle, you don't want a slow takeoff. You want to quickly pass a busy road like this. Let me hit the button. And with this guy being so light and with a 500 watt motor that peaks at 700 watts, you got a lot of torque. You need a comfortable throttle, which I do like this one. This is a half twist throttle. You got to have cruise control which if you hold the throttle down for a few seconds, it beeps just like that. And you need a good top speed. I'm hitting 18 miles an hour. It's gotta be water resistant. How deep is this gonna be? Come on, don't get any deeper. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not bad. It's gotta have good tires to navigate stuff like this. Not really feeling the smaller vibrations and then bumps like that and that. You feel them, but it's doable. Before I go to the bank, I wanna talk about the comfort this has. And comfort is really gonna depend on rider size. I'm 5'11", and I really like the size of the scooter for my frame. The stem is tall enough, handlebars are super wide. The deck is actually very wide as well. It's a very spacious and open scooter for a lightweight commuter scooter. I didn't like on the deck that the grip tape is coming off. I did have to push that down. But overall, for comfort for a $1,000 scooter, I would give this a nine out of a 10. All right, so uh, last stop is Walgreens. That wraps up all the errands, gonna head home, and I wanna talk about the last two things that I think you need on a commuter scooter. Woo. And the first are brakes. This only has one brake lever on the left side, but it controls both the front disc and the regens, and really don't have any complaints about braking. Uh, the second thing is range. This has a 48 volt battery and they have a smart charger that takes only five hours to charge. These guys say that you can get a range of up to 31 miles. I started my tracking app before I left and I just checked it. I'm just less than five miles. Battery life is, it uh, looks like two of the five battery bars gone. If you were just consistently riding at 15 to 16 miles an hour, then you could get 31 miles. But riding like I am today with a lot of stop and go, maybe not so much. I think for this type of riding, you could probably expect around 15 miles. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That is the new air scooter, super light commuter scooter. Pretty awesome ride. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. And if you'd like this one, I've got a couple more that I think you'll like. I'll have them up here somewhere. As always, thanks for watching and take care.